You know, when you see, we all sit down, we're watching horse racing. When a jockey goes into a fence, whose job is it to ask the horse? Is it the horse? Is it the jockey? It is a partnership. I often say that it's the rider's responsibility to keep the horse balanced, keep the horse on a, in the right direction, on a good line into the fence, and that they keep the momentum up so that they keep the right pace in the horse for the horse to jump. It is very much the horse's job to uh, look at the fence, adjust his stride to meet the fence on a good stride, and to clear the fence. The jockey can do very little about the horse clearing the fence because that is definitely his responsibility. With the younger ones, you do have to help them quite a lot, obviously keeping them straight in the balance. And it's a very new concept for the horses that would have come in for the first day. You know, it's an indoor school. Normally they would, when they've gone on a lorry, they'd go racing. So to come in here and it's the, sort of a controlled environment, it's, you know, it's a bit different for them. After the, the second and third day, they really sort of get into the swing of things, the younger ones. Um, the older ones that are a bit more balanced, that, are, you know, that would have done a bit more, it's, it's generally just leaving it to them really to, to, to sort themselves out to the fences because obviously when they go racing they're, they're going a lot faster than they are here and they, they need to be able to assess the fences themselves so if they're going to be a bit tight then it, what we do with them hopefully gives them the ability to shorten up and use the shoulders. And is it possible, we know we've seen Long Run this sort of having his style if you like, that sort of French style, is it possible to teach an old dog new tricks? Sometimes a horse will learn and I mean they do learn throughout their career and they get more and more experience as, as they go on. Some horses are very very set in their ways and they have developed their own technique of doing it and it's not up to me or anyone else to try to change that technique but through practice you actually make them good at what they are doing. When you watch the racing you can see if a jockey's asked you know move a horse up to a fence sort of three or four strides out and he's asked them sometimes the horses will take off on that and you can other times you can see they chipped a little close one in or vice versa, the jockeys might sit still thinking they're going to be a bit close and it suddenly takes off out of their hands. You know, when you see it done well, it's like anything in any sport, it just looks very easy, doesn't it? I repeat, as like I say to a lot of people, this is very much a stepping stone for them. It's not something that all horses need. It's only a very small number of racers. Most race horses are fine. They go out and school in a traditional way and do it extremely well. But there are some horses that benefit from doing a little bit of homework like this. It's almost like taking athletes into the gym and specifically work on various aspects of their technique. And then once they have done the work here, then you take them outside and you take them up over the hurdles or fences depending on what the, is their job in life and some horses come here and we would say no this is not for them and you actually stop doing it and as I said some of them do benefit from it. The great yogi